An outreach has been organized for persons with albinism to sensitize them on proper skin care and ensure that the gap is reduced for persons with disabilities. Participants at the outreach commended the event for promoting inclusiveness, raising awareness, and celebrating diversity. Health correspondent Kemi Balogun has details. Persons with albinism face unique challenges, especially with their skin and eyes. They remain at extreme risk of developing skin cancer because their skin is defenseless against the harmful effects of ultraviolet radiation. <laughs> the importance of a proper skin care routine to help boost their self-esteem is the purpose for this outreach program in order to educate them and provide them with the tools for their unique skin needs because protection from the sun is a key preventive measure. Open my eyes to certain things that I was clueless about. Like for instance, even knowing how to apply the, the sunscreen and as a matter of fact, even regaining your confidence when you actually thought you've lost it. One of our interventions for the 2023-2024 um, cycle year, we decided to do an outreach drug sensitization for persons with albinism um, from age 8 to 45. And in the course of this, we're also going to share sunscreens and protective sleeves. It is also a step to boost their confidence as well as reduce the stereotypes, discrimination and promote acceptance and understanding of persons with albinism in the society. People who do not understand what albinism is are actually clueless because they fail to realize that people with albinism are human beings and they have their life to live. So there's absolutely nothing to, you know, to discriminate about. You know, people come up with certain means about people with albinism that maybe if they were, for example, to sleep with someone with albinism, it would cure HIV AIDS. So what we're trying to do is to debunk this myth so that people with albinism can go about living their life as normal human beings. You know, we also want to encourage all government um, organizations to employ people with albinism, you know, just because they have albinism doesn't mean that they can't do great things or go on to achieve great things for themselves. So Studies have shown that most people with albinism die from skin cancer between the ages of 30 and 40, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, where the condition is more prevalent. So this outreach is a way of finding a solution towards reducing this burden in the country. Kemi Balugun, TVC News, Abuja.